As I rode back to New Avalon, I was struck with a growing sense of dread that we would not arrive in time. What a great coincidence, then. And I had to control myself from showing my relief. Captain Shelley had procured for us a number of new ships for the voyage while we were away, even without our supplies. Perhaps it was no coincidence at all. The holy light expresses its will in ways that we are not meant to understand. When it is time, I will leave most of the crusade here to continue mopping up operations of the undead in our backyard. I imagine that once they have finished what we began, most will disband and go back to their homes to live in peace. That somehow seems right. At our finest, we have always been the salt of the earth, rising up to take back our homes from the filth of scourge corruption to return our lord on to its former glory. To a time before the scourge, before Arthas and Regicide, before the Lich King. There have been whispers amongst the men about a day soon to come that will change everything for the Scarlet Crusade. Bishop Street has put a name to it, calling it the Crimson Dawn. I will put some thought to this, though I can feel the truth of it in my bones. I pray that it will bring weal for us, rather than woe. We are the righteous. Press on. We will rise up. It is. Say the word. Not my result. Onward. Let them come. These undead seem more coordinated than those we encountered before. They must have a necropolis nearby. Something to focus them. Well, whatever it is, it must be destroyed. Not as my Justice be done. For Lord Aram.
undead. Sound the alarm. The Scourge are attacking the villagers. We must defend them or this march. Show no fear. General, your presence has been requested at New Avalon. The High Abbot wishes to see you at once. Tell the High Abbot that I will be on my way shortly with disturbing news from Havenshire. These undead. I haven't seen such a sizable infestation in years. <laughs> Not since Nexus Rocks disappeared. And yet, for all their numbers, they were cautious. They held much of their forces in reserve. It was almost as if they were testing us probing our defenses to see how we would respond. Even with them broken at my feet, I still have this feeling of lingering dread. Captain, I am returning to New Avalon to report on the situation. I am placing you in charge of the garrison here. I want this entire region scouted and secured. Any remaining scourge forces are to be eliminated, and I want daily reports on your activities. I am not taking any chances. As you command, Prince. 